United Next is the name of United Airlines' bold plan to add more planes to its fleet, which should be done by the year 2026. Because of this growth, there will be about 30% more seats on each United flight in North America, and there will be 75% more premium seats. United Airlines has stated that it will make its biggest transatlantic expansion to date. It will start flying to five new places that no other North American airline currently serves. United Airlines is making it easier for people to go to Australia in a big way. This winter, a Chicago-based airline announced that it will do the largest South Pacific expansion in aviation history by increasing the number of weekly flights between the U.S. and Australia and New Zealand by 40 percent, bringing the total number of flights to 66. In a press release, Patrick Quayle, United Airlines Senior Vice President of Global Network Planning and Alliances, said, This past winter, United improved our network and became the largest carrier to the South Pacific region. The airline said that Quayle had said this, When winter comes, we will be growing our business even more. It is the only airline that gives direct flights between San Francisco and Christchurch, which is on the South Island of New Zealand. This is the most interesting thing about its new services. Also, it is the only airline that has direct service between San Francisco and Christchurch. The flights are set to start on December 1st and will be made by Boeing 787-8 Dreamliners three times a week. The new route shows that United is more committed than ever to making it easier for people to get to New Zealand. It also comes with a promise that by the winter of 2020, the number of flights to New Zealand will be 70% higher than in 2019. On top of that, the carrier will start flying Boeing 787-9 Dreamliners between Los Angeles and both countries without stopping. From November 29th on, it will fly to Brisbane three times a week instead of two. This will make it the biggest airline on that route. Also, starting on October 28th, the number of trips to Auckland will go from two to four per week. At the time, United is the only airline in the U.S. that flies from San Francisco to Auckland the biggest city in New Zealand, all year long. The airline will not only start new routes, but it will also add more seats to lines that are already in place. Starting on October 28th, Boeing 787-9 Dreamliners will be able to carry three times as many people on daily trips from San Francisco to Brisbane, and Boeing 777-300ERs will fly twice a day between San Francisco and Sydney to provide the most service from the United States. American Airlines will be in charge of both flights. Already the biggest airline between the United States and Melbourne, with daily flights from both San Francisco and Los Angeles, on October 28th, the Northern California route will switch to 777-300ERs, with about 100 more seats per day, bringing the total number of seats to the southeastern Australian city up by 65% compared to 2019. United Airlines is happy to be working with Air New Zealand and Virgin Australia, which gives customers who want to go to places other than those mentioned above more ways to get there. Quayle said, with our historic expansion to five destinations in New Zealand and Australia, United is the clear choice for customers who want to travel to that area. Because of our historic expansion, United is the clear choice for customers who want to travel there. After United said earlier this month that it would fly non-stop to 114 international cities this summer, which is a 25% increase over the previous year, the airline has chosen to expand its operations in the South Pacific region. Rome, Paris, Barcelona, Berlin, Shannon, Edinburgh and Naples will all get more service, and Malaga, Dubai and Stockholm will be added as places that will get new service. Soon, more than two dozen flights will leave each day on the famous route between London and Heathrow Airport. Also, Asian lines are getting better because there are now 10 flights a day to Japan, with hubs in both Tokyo and Osaka, and two flights a day between Seoul and San Francisco. Also, service between Denver and Tokyo and between San Francisco and Hong Kong has been fixed. Also, there is now service between Denver and Tokyo with flights leaving from both Washington Dulles and Los Angeles. Quayle said, There has never been a higher demand to travel overseas, so we'll be adding more flights to popular cities and new interesting places to visit. We will be adding more service to popular cities as well as new and interesting places for customers to visit. 
United Airlines' move into the South Pacific was a big deal. In addition to the three new routes, United Airlines has also said that it will improve two current routes that leave from San Francisco. Starting on October 28, 2023, a 787-9 will fly to Brisbane every day during the winter season, up from three times a week before. Starting on October 28, 2023, a Boeing 777-300ER will fly between Sydney and Los Angeles twice a day. Starting on October 28, 2023, Melbourne's airport will be upgraded to a 777-300ER, which will add 100 places per day. Already, United Airlines serves more places in Australia and the Pacific area than all other U.S. airlines put together. As was said at the beginning of this piece, the most recent expansion means that United will fly 66 times a week between the United States and Australia and New Zealand. Compared to the northern winter of 2022, this is a 40% rise. Patrick Quayle, who is in charge of route planning for United, says that the airline can run these flights because there is a lot of demand for trips to South Pacific places and United works closely with Virgin Australia and Air New Zealand. Quayle, who is currently United's Senior Vice President of Global Network Planning and Alliances and whose time there has been marked by bold international route expansion, said, Our strong partnerships with Air New Zealand and Virgin Australia provide unparalleled connectivity. And with our historic expansion to five destinations in New Zealand and Australia, United is the clear choice for customers who want to travel to this region. One more step towards leaving a mark around the world. United Airlines is working on a huge worldwide project with a goal of flying non-stop to more than 100 foreign destinations starting in the summer of 2023. The expansion from San Francisco and Los Angeles to the Southern Pacific is just one part of that project. United will now offer 10 Trans-Pacific flights each day to Tokyo and Osaka, in addition to the route from San Francisco to Hong Kong that has been fixed. This means that 15% more seats will be available than in 2019. In the summer, places like Malaga, Dubai, and Stockholm, which are in Europe and the Middle East, will be served by the U.S. airline for the first time. It will also fly to places like Amman, the Azores Islands, Palma de Mallorca, and Tenerife that no other airline has ever flown to from the U.S. The U.S. airline will start going to these places for the first time. United Companies has stayed one of the most connected companies in the world because it has a lot of routes. This means that customers can get to almost any place in the world from even the most remote U.S. cities by taking less than three trips through its many hubs. People are especially excited about the two new long-haul flights from my home airport, Los Angeles International, which are part of United's huge growth in the South Pacific. This growth in Australia and New Zealand is the result of years of work to build ties with Air New Zealand and Virgin Australia, both of which played a part in the growth. United Airlines' vision statement says that the company wants to create a work environment where all employees are treated with dignity and respect and have the tools they need to serve the global marketplace and contribute to our success. The comment shows how important United Airlines' company culture is to the company's image as a whole. The company knows that this is the most important thing that will determine whether or not it will continue to be a model for other businesses. Thank you for watching this video.